How about beautiful Pisces? I got a request for Scorpio. I got a request for Pisces dealing with Scorpio. So um, I think I actually got a lot of requests for Pisces Scorpio. Um, next in line would be Pisces Capricorn. But um, this is Pisces Scorpio. You guys, I haven't slept in 24 hours and I have to be to work. I have to be to work. So I got to get at least like three hours. <laughs> My hair is flying. I look a hot mess. I'm tired. Okay, so Scorpio. My beautiful Scorpios that are dealing with Pisces. What is your overall energy of Pisces? Thank you, Spirit. What is these Scorpios overall energy of Pisces when it comes to love and romance? What is the Scorpios overall energy when it comes to Pisces? Okay. Ooh, Pisces. Pisces, this person is saying, look at here. Don't tell me who to love. Don't tell me how to love you. Don't tell me that I don't love you. I know that I got love for you. You know that I got love for you. Um, no, I'm seeing that this person's overall energy of you, King of Cups. Yeah, this person has a lot of love for you, a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, and they could be literally open-hearted. This person's heart is very open to you. They're opening their heart up to you. They're expressing their love. They're, they're definitely in control of their emotions. They're stable emotionally. This is a very healthy and stable emotional person, okay? This could be your energy or theirs, but this person definitely wants to open up emotionally to you. Um, they could also be having this uh, direct communication with you face-to-face. -face. They could be expressing to you, opening up to you, uh, Definitely having nostalgia about you, okay? Can't stop thinking about you. Um, it's a, I'm getting this little bit of a controlling energy towards you. Like, listen to me, girl. Listen to what I'm telling you. I love you. You hear me? Like, I'm seeing somebody jack somebody up by the collar, right? <laughs> Three of Cups. Okay, so in the current moment, I feel like this person is not having... Um, this is crazy. This person really does have a lot of love for you and emotion for you, but I feel like in the current moment, there could be a three-party situation here, okay? It could be you and another person in this situation. And I also feel like this person may be having all this love for you, wanting to communicate it, possibly wanting to jack you up and let you know that they love you. You know, they want you to listen to them, hear them out is what I'm saying. But at the same time, they got all this love for you. But I see a three-party situation here and they're giving their love to you and someone else. Okay, they're not having a reunion with you. And the challenge is the fool. So it's like taking a leap of faith. God, how hard is that? So I feel like the biggest challenge for this person is literally taking a leap of faith from the other person. Okay, it's time to pack your bags, time to pack your shit, and leave that other person. How hard is that? <laughs> that's what that's what Pisces is probably thinking. Leave that other person. Leave that group. Leave that community. Leave that bad company. Leave that person who doesn't love you. Leave that person who, you know, you don't really want to emotionally connect with anymore. And it's just one of those things. So this person is finding it like they want to take a leap of faith. They do, but they're finding it really hard to just like pack their bags up and leave the other person or literally just like walk the other way as if they never had a connection there and this is all happening because the ace of wands this person wants a new passionate start with you they're passionate about you and they want to have a new passionate start with you i feel like in the past we had the ten of cups in reverse so there was definitely a lot of emotional dissatisfaction here this could be emotional dissatisfaction amongst multiple people even a family here a broken family very much emotional discord between you and this person um i'm seeing unhappy unhappiness here this person definitely felt very unhappy and emotionally like broken that they could not be together with you or that they were not together with you. Okay, I'm seeing a broken family and a big emotional dissatisfaction, not just for two people, but like could be even children involved in a situation. Um, could be a broken family here too, but I definitely see that with this person. It almost could have been like this person could have literally like, I don't know, for some of you guys walked away from a family with you, even though they had a lot of love for you, stepped out on a family. The best case scenario when it comes to you and this person, I have the world. So I'm definitely seeing there's a chapter here that's closing here with a three-party situation. Yeah, somebody is going to have some type of, 
this person is going to be having closure with you, Scorpio, in regards to some type of unhappy family, unhappy situation, unhappy relationship, um, emotional distraught or dissatisfaction, like not being together. There's going to be some type of closure that this person is going to go through. And this closure has a lot to do with a third party situation. I'm seeing a chapter will be closed here. There will be some type of completion to this. Um, in the near future, I see that this really, damn, I'm, I'm mad as fuck. I need to find me a Scorpio. Like, real talk. I gotta find me a fucking Scorpio. This is what's really going on with Pisces. God damn. This, I'm, I'm mad as fuck. I'm gonna find me a Scorpio. <laughs> so, I like this, Pisces. This Scorpio decided to close a chapter with a three-party situation and come together with you in a relationship. They definitely are serious about this. Yeah, they said, fuck that three-party situation. They come into they, they come into their soulmate. They are definitely having a new beginning with you. They're definitely having a new beginning with you, baby. They're packing their bags up and they say, you thought I wasn't coming. I'm fucking on my way. I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm hearing that song. I'm doing 60 in a... Oh, I don't know that song. Y'all, I don't know. It's like he's like, I'm doing 60 and a 50. I'm on my way. I don't know. Somebody say, I'm on my way. Hey. <laughs> I don't know that song. But yes, oh my God, in their future, I'm seeing that this person is making a decision to be in a relationship with you, to come together and have this, oh my God, this mutual love and respect and exchange. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. And they are like, they're just so happy that they did this. They're so happy that they took this leap of faith with you. The way you're coming towards this person, the eight of pentacles, oh my God, Pisces, you are putting, you are putting in some, boy, you putting in that grind for this, really, you are putting in overtime, baby, you putting in overtime to make this relationship work. <laughs> Pisces ain't playing. Pisces, I feel like not only are you putting in time and effort and focus on this connection, I feel like you're fixing things about yourself too. You're working on yourself. You know, it's like in order for me to have this emotional connection with you, I have to fix some, some shit about myself in my life, maybe my credit, maybe my damn house. I got to get ready. I'm fixing things by myself. It's not like you're, you're actually fixing things. You're actually trying to work on this shit, right? You're, you're putting in the work. You're putting in time. You're putting in work. And the way this person is coming towards you, oh my God, this is a lot of love here. This is a lot of love. This is a lot of emotions. Like, they see your efforts. They see what you're doing. They appreciate what you're doing. The way this person is coming towards you, they appreciate it. Oh, wow. I just heard that somebody feels appreciated. They felt like the other person didn't appreciate them. Maybe the other person used to go out and drink all the time. Didn't appreciate the love. Didn't appreciate something about what they... Because the Scorpio is very emotional. Them seeing a very emotional man, very uh, loving, caring. It got so much love to give. Or an, an emotional woman, Scorpio woman, they got so much love to give. Somebody didn't appreciate that emotional, you know, what they had, all that emotion, all that love that they have to give. The way they're coming towards you, they're befriending you, you know. There's a positive message regarding this person being your friend. You know, they really see your efforts. They see that you're a hard worker. They see that you have definitely fixed on yourself, fixed things about yourself, worked on yourself. They see that you're open for love, that you're sweet, that you're kind, that you're willing to do anything for anyone. And they appreciate that about you. And it makes them even more passionate about you and wanting to come towards you. They're thankful for you. They're grateful for you. Wow. Outside influencing how they feel is the five of wands. They want to... Ooh, this person is definitely wanting to come out of some type of like drama. Like, I don't know if this person put you in some type of drama here with this three-party situation or there was some type of drama or situation here, but they definitely want to come out of this drama in regards to you or whatever drama that they may have put you in and they want to have a new passionate start here. They want to overcome the, this, the, you know, the butting heads, the back and forth the disagreements, the, you know, the push and pull. They want to come out of that. What's in their hopes and fears though is the charity in reverse. So this has a lot to do with choosing a new direction. So in their hopes and fears has a lot to do with being able to choose a new direction, you know, making that decision. It's funny to me because I don't really feel like 
I, f- I don't really feel like it starts off like this. I feel like your energy towards this person, Scorpio, is maybe you're at work. Maybe you're minding your own business. Maybe you're in your garden. Maybe you're jogging. Maybe you're walking. Maybe that's how it was something. And it was like, oh, acquaintance, meeting you, speaking to you, instantly feeling a, a very sweet energy. Why do I feel like this person put their eyes on you first? They saw you first. I feel like you were busy. You were doing something. They put their eyes on you first. They they initiated the conversation, the sweet, sweet, nice, um, flirty conversation with you first. You were just focusing, minding your own damn business, but they definitely got your attention. <laughs> they definitely got your attention. I feel like it was like that, like you want a relationship, you want love, but you know that there's things that you have to get done. You're somebody who is definitely focused on fixing things you have you're you're working on your business you're working on you maybe you got you guys have your own business you own your own personal business you're trying to get up off the ground maybe you're focusing on school work you know things here that you're building and creating and definitely for stability here and it's crazy because this person sees you they see you they like what they see they like what you're about okay the outcome here in regards to this person is judgment and reverse so yes right now i just really feel like this person is not making a decision they're not making a decision to choose a new direction they need to get in control of this situation you know they're just right now (laughs) they're not making a decision here to give you some type of answer um why do i feel like this is what's truly going on here um and i feel like they probably haven't given you some type of like acknowledgement like because i'm seeing them coming towards you as a friend it looks like oh we're just friendly but really they have a lot of fucking emotions for you a lot of feelings a lot of passion here um and it's like they do want to take this to the next level they're ready to jump in this relationship and in their future i'm seeing this person jump head first into a relationship with you with open and, and loving it's like with open arms I've never seen somebody jump head first in a relationship like that. And it just like, it, it looks like it comes together so beautifully. So I'm seeing that in the near future. And I'm seeing that the best case scenario is that they say that you are the one. With this world card here, I'm seeing that they're saying you are the one. You're the one for me. You are the one is what I'm hearing. I think that's on a card. This could be the one. They're saying you are the one. I'm hearing this could be the one. So they're closing. They're closing all that fucking, these three-party situations, these multiple fucking people, these people who didn't appreciate their love, these people who probably wasn't even good for them any fucking way. They're closing the chapter to those people. And they're making the decision to jump headfirst in a relationship with you. Wow, this Scorpio is jumping headfirst in a relationship with you. They are going to find you. They're going to find you. And they are going to love you, hug you, squeeze you so tight. Like this person is definitely getting in a relationship with you, okay? In their future, I know that, I see that. But the crazy thing about it is right now, I don't feel like they're like, they're not blowing the whistle. Because it's like, you're. I'm seeing you are so focused and working on something. Um, but I'm seeing you're either, I don't know if you're in a relationship or you want a relationship. Um... But I feel like somebody's not alerting the other person that they want to work on this relationship. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's not telling somebody, I really want to be in a relationship with you. I really like you. I really want to. Can we be in a relationship? Can we can we literally be in a relationship? Like, I feel like someone's not blowing the whistle on it or not really like saying it out loud right now. But they haven't made that decision yet because they haven't chosen. They haven't chose to make to move in that direction yet. Let's see what's crossing the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups here in the past. Right, the Page of Swords. This person was spying on you like a mug. Oh my gosh, they were spying on you. And when they were spying on you, they were thinking about the possibilities, all the possibilities here with you, long term relationship, long term success. Oh my God, my brother is a Scorpio and I pray every day that he talks to a Pisces woman just like his sister. Let me stop. (laughs) He is so single, you guys, and so handsome. But yeah, he really deserves love. He's a Scorpio. I'm just, I'm like, man, I hope he's connecting with this person because this looks, look, really, this feels good. Um, The world crossing the three of cups. Oh, wow. This person is, they are ready, Scorpio. They're tired of stalking you. They're tired of stalking you. They're ready to make this motherfucking ship turn. You you hear me? They are ready to, hey, they're ready to move forward on something. 
they're they're a little hesitant though because they don't want to they don't they don't know that like damn if i come in and offer this i don't want to fuck something up <laughs> i don't want to uh i don't want to come in and offer this love here and then say if i'm you know say if that mess everything up maybe i maybe that's too much maybe i'm maybe i shouldn't come in too strong i you know but they're ready to close the chapter with all those other people here they're ready to make a decision they see you in their future they're ready to take this step to make a decision here to bring to come closer towards you in the future is what i'm seeing as the best case scenario they're tired of watching you they're tired of spying on you they're ready the scorpio is ready to make a move two of cups with the high i'm sorry two of cups with the full card what's crossing this the moon in reverse okay yes they are definitely look at here they're coming in they're wanting to come in from out the cold where wherever this person was hiding under a rock whatever it is that they were doing hiding behind a friendship just constantly being nice to you sweet to you acting like you guys are just friends yeah right this person want more than that and constantly just like oh hey nice to meet you hope you're doing good and you're like okay you're steady fixing on something like yeah okay nice to nah they want to come in they want to come in from out of the cold they want more than that and i feel like with the moon being in reverse here this is like crossing them is them actually expressing they're going to let out something here something that they weren't saying to you they're going to finally express it or let it out they're going to let it out You're finally going to get some type. There's going to be a big reveal here. And you're going to realize that this person wants to be in a relationship with you. So how are you crossing this person? Two of cups with the eight of pentacles? Pisces, the hermit. <laughs> Come on, little Pisces. Pisces sitting up here just focusing on themselves, working on yourselves. I've seen this person offering you love, but you're just like, you know, you're just very nurturing, caring, loving. You know what I'm saying? But wow, this is going to be beautiful because you're going <laughs> to... This is beautiful cards and everything is coming together so beautifully. So I'm seeing the way you're coming towards this person. You could be not trying to acknowledge. Maybe you're trying to play hard to get, maybe. But at the same time, you do recognize this person. You recognize the connection. You recognize what they feel. You see it. You're very wise here. But you're also very wise enough not to make yourself so fucking available to this person. But when it does happen, it happens. And you will be having this balance and equal give and take with this person. Now, what's crossing the page of cards? These are some beautiful cards that's coming out. I'm like, I haven't even found a Scorpio yet. So I know that I need to be looking for a Scorpio. Right? Seven of Swords. Wow. Okay. The Seven of Swords in my verse is letting me know that this person does not want to play games with you, okay? Um, I feel like in the beginning, they could have because there, there was like multiple people here. But for some reason, I'm getting that they're serious. This person is getting really serious. They're like, I'm not about wasting any more fucking time. I want something serious. This Scorpio wants to be committed. They want something serious. I feel like at one time they could have been playing around with their emotions and feelings. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm hearing tag, you're it. Tag, you're it. And it's like, nah. Do you want to? Do you want this or not? Do you, are you interested or not? Do you want to be here with me or not? Do you want to be in this relationship or not? And you don't have time for it. Places you don't have time for the games. You don't have time for this. It's either you know what you want or you don't. This tag you it shit and running back and forth and acting like you're my friend and not knowing what the fuck you want. You just didn't have time for that. So this person kind of there the way they're coming towards you. That's how it is. And you're just like, uh uh. Let me show you what you're doing. You're like, I don't have time for this shit. I got shit to do. Like, mm -mm, I know where I'm going. I know what I want. And you're confused or, you know, you want to be my friend. That's fine. I don't want a friend. You're just like, I don't want a friend. I want a relationship. <laughs> you know, I know what I want. And so I feel like they're realizing with the seven of swords in reverse is definitely coming to some type of conscious, you know, um, conscious mind, conscious revelation, revealing, understanding, uh, noticing that you're not chasing behind them. Because I feel like this person kind of wanted you to chase. And you're like, oh, you thought I was a chaser? Oh, and hell no, nah, I'm not chasing behind you, sweetie. I got shit to do. This person wanted you to kind of chase a little bit so that it can, you ain't about that life. Go ahead and tell them, go and sit down somewhere, baby. Put a ring on it. Do something better than that. Queen of Wands is what's crossing this. Yeah, this person is definitely trying to move towards you in passion. Yes, they want you. They want to come out of the cold with you. <laughs> I don't know if you work with this person, but they definitely feel a connection, a soulmate connection here with you. Um, but 
There could have been some, uh, I don't know, Queen of Wands energy. Let's see, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, interference here, but uh, this could be your energy. Because you seem very confident here. There, okay, this I just heard this person said there is no competition. There is no competition when it comes to you. And outside influencing you, if there was another person here, they want to let you know that there was no competition. There is no competition when it comes to you. Like, there is no competition. But why are they not making this decision? Why are they not blowing a whistle on this shit and moving in your direction? Okay, seven of cups, page of wands, eight of wands, ten of swords, all uh, in the hierophant. The reason why they're not is because um, this is somebody who's like, they're somebody with the seven of cups. They want to make sure that they're ready. Um, they could also feel like there could be an age gap for some of you guys, or this person could feel like they're not ready or at this current moment, like they're not as ready as you are. They could be a little more immature than you, but then it's like they talk a lot. They talk a good game. They talk a lot. They want to communicate a lot with you. The more they, this person communicate, you can tell that they're just not, um, they're not as mature as you are. They're not as focused you are. Focused as you are. They may not be as ambitious as you are. And that's what I'm saying, because I'm seeing with this Queen of Wands and this page of, um, page of Wands here, I just feel like there could be some type of age gap here. Uh, for some of you guys, there could be some type of big age gap here, um, you know, not for everyone, or it could have to do with a lot about maturity level. So um, this person is like, you know, I'm seeing them have strong like, desire, attraction for you, really, really love talking to you, communicating with you, seeing you being around you. Um, but with this Ten of Swords here, this is somebody who has really been like, betrayed, hurt. They could even communicate about the betrayal and the hurt that they have been through and what someone has caused them. And I feel like they just want you to know that they're someone who's committed. This person is like, really? They're wanting to be committed. They're serious. Okay, let me see here. Oh my goodness, where's my cards? All right. What advice would I give to my Scorpio in regards to this person? What advice would I give to my Scorpio in regards to this person? Oh, this person, when they flirty, this person is so flirtatious with you. Ooh, I told you this could be the one. And separation. Okay, clearly decide what it is that you want. This person is literally, I feel like this is your friend. Um, this is like a friendship soulmate connection where it could have started off as just friends, but yeah, clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. It is safe for you to love, true love. Okay, so yeah. Also, this person likes kids, Scorpio. I thought I should let you know that. This person, not Scorpio, Pisces. This person, the Scorpio, they really like kids. They're really good with kids. Okay. They really like kids. I saw that in the page of cups. They're really, really good with kids. Kids love them. Kids are very fond of them. So yeah, this person feels like you could be the one for them. This could be the one. And they're saying you've already, they feel like they've already met you. Like they either already know you, you guys are already friends or acquaintances, or you guys met again, um, but they don't want to be separated from you, but there's some type of separation here. And I feel like this person feels like they don't want to be separated from you again. They do, they want this and they know that they need to make a decision they don't need to make they need to make a freaking decision. Or they need to let you know something. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, what advice would I give to Scorpio in regards to this person? How would I tell Scorpio to move towards this person? How would I tell Scorpio to move towards this person? Also, that separation lets me know that they need to separate themselves from other people and other things. Okay, I got new love and keep an open mind. So this could be happening at your job with finances and career here. This could be happening at your job. I'm seeing a lot of passion and chemistry here, um, right here with, with you and this person. Um, but I also feel like there could have been a little bit of deception here, a little bit of drama going on with multiple people, a little confusion here going on. And they're going to let motherfuckers know look I'm with Scorpio I'm not with you I'm with Scorpio even if it's at the job somewhere 
anywhere, you know, anywhere where there's a finance or a career or something like that. They're going to let people know, look, that's where that big reveal is. That big reveal is, look, I'm with Scorpio. I mean, I'm with Scorpio. I'm with Pisces. So here we go. New love. So yeah, a new person has surgery or mental feelings. Keep an open mind. So they want you to keep an open mind. I don't know if you're just not focusing on this person. You're working or you feel like this person is not your type or you feel like, oh, they're not interested in me because I'm really seeing you're like really like going the other way on this person. But they want me to tell you, pay attention to this person. Keep an open mind. This could be at your job. This could be somewhere you work. This could be somewhere where finances or some type of institution like pay attention this could be you going to the goddamn atm machine and not even pay attention but you need to keep an open mind your soulmate may be different from your usual type or expectation and i feel like the scorpio could be very different from what you're used to it could even be age gaps you know what i'm saying physical feature facial features height you know shoe size whatever it is eye color you know short hair long hair just keep an open mind because i feel like this has a potential to go so fucking far and to be so freaking loving and i love this i love it to the point where i'm about to go run and upload this right now because i feel like i want to upload this for scorpio okay because my leo and pisces was off the chain <laughs>